Okay, welcome back to How to Hack Community Engine Games. And this is going to be the final episode and for Mono. We're going to do ILT CPP another day. Uh, it's pretty much the same concept of ILT CPP. Uh, I haven't uploaded the helper yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if you traverse through my GitHub, you'll be able to find it. And you can just follow along. But some things, when you make the SDK, it's not going to be the same. But... If you're smart enough, you can figure it out yourself. Anyways, uh, I have the DirectX hook set up, and I actually use one of my old projects I had for ROI2. So, uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last episode is that whenever you want to initialize the mono, like in the beginning of the, the DLL, when your DLL is getting loaded, initialize mono. Okay, and uh, I have everything else set up. I'm using Kuro hook, you can go find that if you don't know how to get Kuro hook set up. So inside of drawing, I have let's see, DESP. So this is my ESP drawing, and um, my menu. It's a basic menu, nothing special. Um, and if I open up my DX hook folder, I have the present hook right here. So this is we're hooking present, and I I call my draw my rend I do my rendering before the menu is being drawn. Okay, and then. Um, that's all, it's really however you want to do it. And, uh, you also are going to need to call mono attach and hook present. So whenever you hook present, you need to call mono attach and mono, call mono initialize when you initialize the, um, your DLL. Okay. So this is my ESP. This is my get entity list. I have created, the. Uh, I have the instances, character body instances right here. Remember guys, we set this up last episode. Figure out how to do it. I uh, just have a little bit more stuff here. And um, uh, what's it called? Um, so we initialize instances. We get the instances here. Um, we check if if it's if the instances has failed, then uh, I'm not sure why I just check here. Anyways. You just do a bunch of checks to see if the array is legit. If it is good, valid pointer, continue. If the count is zero, let's just go ahead and uh, break, return the list. So we're going to get the camera. I'm sure how we get the camera here. Oh, well, it turns out ROR2 has a place where you can get the camera in the scene. So all this stuff is going to be different on your end. So you got to figure this out on your end. And we iterate through the instances list. And uh, we get the value at the count at the index zero based index count. And right here, I just set the entity in this uh, structure, but you don't have to do this. And I always I always make my entity less than the vector, so you can access it. It's just way better. And um, right here, this is where I do the drawing. I check if my I have my global b, my namespace global b ESP variable. Uh, if it's boolean, if it's True, then we're gonna do ahead and go ahead and do the drawing. And uh, I just want to call get camera, and this is my camera class. Okay, this is my world to screen. So, the thing about this world to screen Unity engine, I forgot to mention, uh, it you can just return it like this for, for regular world to screen, world to screen point method. This is what you do and get the screen height. So screen is a uh, another Unity Engine class you can access. So go ahead and find that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and give it to you. I guess this is it right here. So we can do screen height minus ret with the returned value from the method dot y. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bless you guys with a um some little copy and paste code. Where is the freaking with the company, here it is. So, world to viewpoint, copy and paste code. Pretty sure I have it in the SDK camera. So, this is world. This is the world to screen. How you have to do it on Lethal Company. It's different. We're calling world to viewpoint, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this already. Just gonna give errors because it's like the same shit. I'm gonna do. Go to screen. Keep on calling it viewport. Is viewport? Come on. Anyways, uh, we get the return 
from Colton's method, and then we're going to do screen.x equals the return.x times equals width, and re re return.y times equal height, and then we still got to do screen height minus screen y. Uh, it's just weird because if you don't do screen height minus re screen height minus uh, return y, uh, it's going to place at the right coordinates, except the y is not going to be correct. So if you move your camera up or down, uh, the es the ESP screen position is actually going to move up and it's going to move up and down, so it's not going to be uh, very useful. So that's it. That's how we do the drawing here. And uh, like I said in my present hook, I did the rendering here. It's my render. I have my uh, get target for aimbot, and I just have my ESP here. So we're going to go ahead and load up Risk Rain two. And um, I'm going to go ahead and inject the DLO once it's loaded in. Uh, let's see. In my ESP, I'm adding, or checking if it's in screen. If it isn't, then for continue. Then I'm doing add text, the name. It's going to be uh, offset from 10 of the screen position. And then the health is at the screen position itself. And then we're going to do, yeah, we're going to set the health here. All right, so let's just go ahead and inject DLL. All right, so we've injected successfully. Insert, mine's is inserted to close and open the menu, but let's start opening it too again. So we're in the game now, and uh, nothing's loaded yet. Uh, it's kind of loud. Let's slow it down. I'm just gonna turn it off real. So we're in the game now, and uh, as you see, uh, we don't have nothing, and uh, I just killed myself. Uh, there's nothing here. I can't see nothing, but let's just enable the ESP. And uh, you can do a mouse hook. I'm pretty sure there's a class where you can, uh, you know, because the game force captures your mouse. If you do a mouse hook whenever you open up your menu and you set the mouse hook to true, you know, it'll automatically allow you to open up your menu. Anyways, here we go. We got the ESP working. So the health is at the exact position. As you can see, the health works. My health is at 79, 80, 81, 83. Yep. And then we got the entities here. If we hurt them, their health decreases. And if we kill them, they'll disappear. So we got all this kind of stuff here, and um, it's just a bunch of stuff that you can go ahead and learn and do. So this is already a ESP, and over here, I think I was testing, yeah, I was testing the the mask and um, trying to get all the layers to do uh, an as visible check using Raycast and all that shit. That's that's for another tutorial if you guys want to learn how to do uh, is visible checks. On Unity Engine because they're they're easy. It's very easy, quite simple, and and now you can see we just now we got working ESP and Risk of Rain too, and it wasn't that hard at all. It was simply just grabbing the class, figure out what class we knew we wanted to use that had stored all the data, and finding a static instance or a static method that did store all the uh, data that we wanted to access and. It's that simple. So we went from um, having that. It's literally all the work is done from the helper itself. And if we take a look at, again, go ahead and take a look at the entity list. Uh, we get the instances here. All right. We turn the instance field here. Then we uh, iterate through the we get the array from the list. So if we check take a look at um, the list, this is the list class. All right, that's that. And then we do um, we check if the count zero. Then we get the camera. Uh, like I said, guys, you can find the camera by iterating through, looking through the classes, or you can uh, call get all camera array and then find which camera in the array actually stores what you want stores the camera that actually can draw on the screen and then boom 
we get each character body inside of that array at the zero base index and then we pretty much have everything we need like you know you just go ahead and create the SDK for yourself so character body you know I've created this all myself and it's so simple so easy to do and then you know then we call row to screen and it's just that it, we're just it's that simple so guys this is not hard to do um, you guys should not have any trouble doing this and you'll come up with an end product like this but you got working ESP and um, you can also check if you want to draw your local player or not it's up to you and there's more stuff you can do obviously I'm just showing the ESP because mainly that's one of the main sheets everyone's looking for is ESP and you know it's just so easily done once you get a working hook and figure out how to use the helper you guys are going to be having a fun time uh, hacking all these games and you know, the hardest part really is reversing, not really reversing because it's all there. It's figuring out what class has what and trying to access what you need to access. And uh, I don't call you a unity object, find objects of type at all. So that's why I'm not lagging at all. And um, if you guys have any issues, you need to go ahead and comment and tell me what's the problem so I can try to help you. And uh, that's going to be it for this third video. Thank you for watching.